What up, HyperChange? So I just watched Elon Musk's new TED talk, shed a few tears, mind was blown. If you have not seen this TED talk, it's a must watch. He talks about SpaceX, his new project, The Boring Company, where he wants to build tunnels, Tesla, Solar City. You have to watch it. If you like Elon Musk and you're a fan and you know anything about Tesla, if you're short Tesla, and it reminded me, like I've kind of had this video idea that I wanted to make for a while, which was, why is Tesla worth more than Ford? Why are they worth more than GM? The answer is 100% because of one guy and that one guy's Elon Musk. And that's also the reason I'm invested in Tesla. Long time Elon fanboy, long time Tesla fanboy. Why do I own Tesla? Why does it make sense to me that it's more valuable than every other car company, even though their business is unquestionably less profitable, smaller, way less attractive today than every other auto companies? Why is it worth more? The answer is simple. And it's finance. Like everybody thinks that because of Tesla's overvaluation, it has nothing to do with finance. It's so irrational. That really frustrates me because at my core, I'm a finance guy and I'm a numbers guy. And that's why I love Tesla. I think Elon Musk is going to build one of the biggest, most profitable companies in the world. Right now, they're only worth 55 to 60 billion. If he builds one of the biggest and most profitable companies in the world, it's going to be worth several trillion, which means I'm going to make 10 to 20 times my money. Like, yeah, I love Elon and he's saving the world and this is going to get better, but I'm in Tesla to make money. And and Elon realizes that to accomplish his goal of accelerating the world to sustainable energy, he needs to build a profitable company to get it there that will last decades that will have the permanent impact that he wants to make. Elon's all about first principles of physics. I also think on his core, he's a really smart finance guy and understands the first principles of finance, which is basically that if you're an unprofitable company, you need to raise capital. If you're a profitable company, you're not going to need to raise capital because you can fund your own stuff. Right now, Tesla is extremely unprofitable, but as he's alluded to numerous times, the Model 3 is really going to be the inflection point where Tesla begins to produce significant cash flow. Once this happens, the entire business model is going to transform. They're going to become one of the world's most profitable car companies. And then that entire valuation and the stock market is actually going to look really smart, in my opinion, and have foreseen this incredible disruption. Okay, let's take a step back. The most important asset that any company has is its leadership. It's not on the balance sheet. It's not anywhere in the SEC filings or financial statements, but the most important asset or liability that any company has is its management team. Who am I investing in with Tesla? I'm investing in Elon Musk, a guy who pays himself $0 in salary, only wants to make money on stock, is a brilliant engineer and physicist, has a track record of selling hundreds of millions of dollars worth of businesses. And like, let's, let's think about what Elon has really built in his past. He built Zip2, sold it for hundreds of millions of dollars. PayPal. Well, he started a company called X.com that merged with PayPal and then he ran PayPal with Peter Thiel and they took it to the top. It got bought out and like even PayPal was growing like crazy, probably unprofitable when he was running the company. But look where we are today. PayPal has more money than they know what to do with. Their entire vision of disrupting the financial system is maybe questionable. We're making another episode about that. But Elon has built us 50 billion. Like he was 20 and he built a 50 billion dollar business and nobody got it. I don't like Elon because I just think he's this cool guy and like I, he has this vision for the future and like it's this sexy car company. Like, no, I like Elon Musk because I think he's the best executor and the best management or leadership CEO that is, exists in the entire planet. And that's not an exaggeration. I genuinely think he is the best CEO, visionary, design. The way he's raised capital for Tesla and only diluted, the, like the fact that the share count has less than doubled given all the capital raises and all, like they're building the world's biggest building, they've done all this without even doubling their share count, to me is incredible. Like if you comp that with other companies that are trying to build things like that are that significant relative to their current size and you look at the dilution, the scope is not even comparable. So that's why to me it's like, okay, Tesla's gonna go back to the market, who cares? Every time they go back to the market, they raise the money, execute on exactly what they raise the money for and produce more value and the stock goes up and that's just how finance works. And if a company is the present value of all of its future cash flows, let's think about that for all you finance guys out there who love Ford and GM, the present value of a company is based on all of its future cash flows. Therefore, Ford and GM are f just a quick rant on Ford and GM. Their entire balance sheet, from what I can tell, is levered on auto loans. They're more banks than car companies. They raise more debt than Tesla does by a boatload to fund their financing operation, which is collateralized by used vehicles with people with really credit who are going to default in the next recession. All these car companies are going to be stuck with all these crappy vehicles while self-driving cars are taking off. Used car prices are going to plummet. The entire equation on the balance sheet that is justifying them raising billions is going to go to sh And these car companies are going to look so levered 
Ford compared to Tesla, they're going to be in such bad shape while Tesla is leading the self-driving and electric revolution. So if I look at the, 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 yeah, Ford and GM have a really tough time making future bit profits when Elon Musk builds a system of tunnels where only electric cars can go and he is dominating the electric car market and no one's buying internal combustion engines. I think the future cash flows in GM are about to decline significantly. That's why their values are depressed. T Tesla's cash flow is about to grow exponentially. A really interesting point in the TED Talk is that there's going to be more vehicles on the road with the advent of autonomy because it's going to make cars so much cheaper to drive. So the auto market is actually going to expand, which is not something that I thought. I thought it was going to shrink because it was going to get more efficient. But I like Elon's point of it gets so much cheaper that more people are actually using it. It's more convenient than the bus. So in this world, not only do you have to be a self-driving car, but you also have to be electric to get access to this tunnel network. Therefore, electric cars and autonomous cars are gonna be ubiquitous. Who is a million miles ahead in both of those categories? It's Tesla. So I see Tesla dominating the entire future of the automotive market. And like, I, I don't know, maybe this sounds crazy to the law or to the people who aren't invested, but like, this is what I genuinely think will happen and why I'm invested. I think Elon Musk has an unparalleled vision for the entire future of our transportation system. He has a history of executing on every single thing he said and I believe he will exit he was at Ted three or four years ago saying the e that the model three was going to hit the market in three to four years and like it is and like everyone's going to say oh they're always late you know Tesla's always late Tesla was on time look at what he like so I just think there's this whole thing in the media about Elon Musk like being a pie in the sky valuation there's no finance backing up Tesla's valuation where there is I'm a finance guy. I'm a numbers guy. I think the Model 3 is going to generate billions of cash flow for Tesla. That's going to propel the valuation, allow them to invest in the semi program, build out the production capacity for that, which is going to reinvent the entire cargo transport market, which has, sure, it's only 40, 50 billion now based on new direct sales. But if you take into account that Tesla will be able to operate fleets of autonomous trucks, recharge them, probably take a massive amount of industry market share, like that's another 10, 20, 30 billion dollar opportunity in revenue for the company that is just on the horizon. Then we have the Model B that we made a video about where they're going to revolutionize urban transport. Like all of this is going to happen within the next 10 years, whether you like it or not. I genuinely think that if Tesla, probably five years, if Tesla does not go bankrupt, they are going to build the future that I am desperately wanting to see. Side note, if you're short Tesla and if you hate on Tesla, do, do so no, knowing that like, is he not doing good for the world? Like, do we not, we need to go electric. Like we need to go sustainable energy. Like I want us to go to Mars so we can become a space bearing civilization. No one else is working on that. Like what, do you want him to fail? Like I think the government should be paying Elon Musk to just build shit. Honestly, at this point, thank God he's doing that already. Yeah. Anyway. <sighs> As much as he is a brilliant CEO, he's a brilliant engineer and physicist. And so the combination of understanding how to run a company, how to motivate people, but also being able to get nitty gritty and design and like build the thing that you're that that you think is going to be disruptive. So you have to have the vision to think of the product and the engineering skills to actually build it, and then the business skills to finance it and turn it into a profitable pr company. So many steps there, and he is the entire package in one. I've never seen anybody who's as good at the technical side of things and the company side of things. The only people that I can remotely think of are, I want to say Bezos and Zuckerberg. And I think it's because they're coders. I'm not buying Tesla. I'm buying Elon Musk. If Elon Musk was the CEO of Ford, I would be long Ford. But I genuinely think Elon Musk is going to reinvent the entire transportation industry. And that is going to give way to a massive company just by necessity. And that company is Tesla. What is Tesla going to look like in 10 years? First of all, there's gonna be tunnels everywhere if Elon Musk builds his boring company. I have a weird feeling he actually will. He wants to shrink the size of these tunnels much smaller than current regulations allow. Why are current regulations not allowing the shrinking of tunnels? One of the biggest reasons is because of ventilation required for the internal combustion engines emission profile. But if all the cars in the tunnel are electric, which I have a weird feeling is Elon's scheme because he runs Tesla, then we would get around that problem and you would have to be an electric car to have access to this tunnel system. This is just going to be another reason why people are going to go electric. If not already like 90% plus electric in 10 years of new car sales, then very, very close. 
Tesla will be the Apple-esque brand in that scenario. Yeah, there'll be other automakers making cheaper electric cars for a lot lower profit margins to try and compete. Tesla will have the iconic luxury status brand. They will have the best product. They will have the best technology. This is Apple 2.0 playing out with what they did in smartphones with cars. Um, the advent of electrification is only one piece of the puzzle, however. Autonomy is an even bigger piece of the equation. That is going to flip the entire economics of transport on its head. It's going to make cars cheaper than buses. It's going to make us build tunnels that can shoot the cars. Press a button and you can, your car will rent itself out and make revenue for you. <sighs> Mind blown. Tell me one other auto company that is building this future. And I'll invest in it. Like, I just, this is the future I see and I want to see. So I'm investing in it and I think... It's gonna make me a ton of money. It's that simple. So I, um, all right, sorry. Back 10 year vision of Tesla. I think we have 20 to 30 gigafactories open in 10 years that Elon Musk said we need 100 total to fully transition the world away from renewables, or that's his estimate. They're already gonna announce plans for at least two more this year. I would bet that in the next 10 years, you know, if Tesla has their way, we've got 20 gigafactories up and running. At this point, each gigafactory is generating someone in 50 to yeah, probably about, I mean, this current gigafactory looks like it's going to be able to do 50 billion in revenue if you do Model 3, Model X, Model Y, and then batteries. So if we kind of use that rough 50 billion in annual revenue per gigafactory number, and they have 20 gigafactories, bam, a trillion dollars in revenue. I'm going to give Tesla a one times price sales valuation. We are at a trillion dollar company. In 10 years, I think Tesla could be worth a trillion. The company right now is trading for 50 to 60 billion. Therefore, you're looking at, with dilution, maybe 15 times your money. If the future that I'm thinking will occur and Tesla is actually as big as it's, they say they will be. Oh, car sales explode. That's the other piece of the equation. Tesla, maybe they only have 10, top 10% 10 of the, the car market, but that top 10% is like the highest end luxury cars with the highest profit margins. They're selling millions and millions per year. This is supporting the demand for those 20 gigafactories, along with the fact that everybody's putting batteries on their homes. Governments are building massive large scale solar installations with batteries just like we saw in Australia and Kauai the only reason those two places are the first where it happened is because the energy in Hawaii is so expensive already they're the first place that the economics of solar makes sense the economics of solar continue to decline it's only going to make sense in a bigger and bigger number of communities this means we're just going to sell more and more batteries they're going to use all this cash flow to build more and more gigafactories so t even though they could be worth a trillion and doing a trillion in revenue in, in 10 years tesla may in fact be still growing like crazy in which case maybe they get a two trillion dollar valuation little juice you know growth from the market okay then we're like 30 times our money there is a, a very 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 good reason why Tesla's worth more than Ford or GM, and it's because Elon Musk, perhaps the world's greatest CEO, is running the company, and he's fully invested into it. The guy's like 45 years old. The next 20 years of his life, he's gonna build things that we can't even dream of, that future generations are gonna stand back in awe and witness what Elon Musk has built. He, I personally think he's gonna become one of the new Rockefellers or Rothschilds, Vanderbelts of our era. He's gonna become one of the richest people in the world. He already is, but I think that's only gonna continue. He's gonna create more and more companies. Like, we're at such an early time in one of the most interesting people in humanity's life and like we get to participate in his scheme tesla this early like this is a dream it, as an investor and someone who loves technology like i just feel like the luckiest person ever that i can be alive and a tesla shareholder and like invest in part of this movement this early i think if we look back in 10 years in 2027 and we say wow the Model 3 was coming out in two months. The semi-truck had just been unveiled. Elon, uh, Elon Musk had already told you he was going to come out with the Tesla network and totally flip the transportation on his system on his head. He was already building the first tunnel. Like, it was all already happening. You could all already see it, the pieces, and all the skeptics were still saying, no, it's never going to happen. Elon Musk is an idiot. All those dreamers who believe in him haven't done any thinking. Well, I think those are going to look like the Luddites. We'll see who's wrong. Maybe this is the peak of irrationality and exuberance in the bubble, and that TED Talk is like, exemplifying an Enron-esque scenario, or maybe Elon Musk becomes one of the greatest business people of all time and permanently changes the course of humanity, alters us towards a sustainable energy future, spacefaring civilization, Tesla becomes the pivotal company and that sustainable energy transition and is worth several trillion dollars in 10 years and buying it today at 50 billion to 60 billion not only could make you significant returns on your capital, but could allow you to participate in one of the greatest like events and changes that humanity's ever had in its history. So. Like, I'm, I'm, sp I'm speechless after watching the TED Talk. Like, if you have not seen it, watch it. I've already watched it twice, and it came out yesterday. Yeah, so that's it. I'm not buying Tesla. I'm buying Elon Musk because I think he's the real deal.
And maybe I'll be wrong, but that's the risk I'm taking and that's the bet I'm making and that's why I'm on Tesla. Hope you guys enjoyed this hyper change. Watch the freaking TED Talk if you haven't already. Peace out, hyper change. See you guys next week. Or see you guys next time.